let's take a look at quick negative matcher together. First, two concepts to make sure that we are very clear on these. Keyword versus search term. To keep it very simple, keyword would be what I'm targeting, what I'm bidding on. Search term would be what the potential buyer types in. For example, keyword in this phrase campaign is something, it's covered up, but something that looks like shows up as a search term, but at the end it also says to pack, right? So the search term in this exact form, including to pack at the end, is not something I am bidding on, but it's showing up as a result of me targeting it in the phrase campaign. Quick negative matcher is, however, telling us that, hey, this specific search term is spending too much on these clicks or maybe getting too many clicks and producing zero sale. Therefore, you should negative match it and stop wasting money on this while the original phrase keyword will continue doing its job. That's kind of the function of quick negative matcher. This is true for a broad campaign as well, or it could also be true for auto, where you are even less in control of what is being targeted. The search term here showing up could be showing up from one of those auto groups where you just have one bid. And maybe there are a thousand different search terms getting clicks and you have no way just by tweaking that bid to you know turn this into something profitable especially if it just keeps getting clicks it's very irrelevant to your product the product you are selling and it's really is just smarter to negative match it and stop spending money on those clicks hopefully this all makes sense if you have further questions you can always use this contact button here and just reach out to us and you know we will get back to you with the answer. Another thing I want to point out on this page is that I am looking at seven days and therefore all the columns, and this is true for every page in the software, all these columns are going to show me only the information for seven days. Now, as you can see, sales, clicks, conversion, everything is empty on this first row as an example. But if I chose all available data, it would be more clear why this search term is being suggested by the software to be negative matched. Maybe I would be seeing like literally a hundred clicks here and you know $20 spent or something like that and zero conversions. That means zero sales, right? So it would be very clear why this suggestion is showing up. I just wanted to point that out so you can remind yourself, you know, in case you want to uh, look at more specifics rather than just choosing one of the negative exact or negative phrase match in this case. We should definitely discuss that we have a cogwheel here, a settings icon that you, by the way, have on every other page. And that's where you can review the settings for that given tool. In this case, quick negative matcher. When you click on that, you will see something similar to this. Max cost without sales, max clicks without sales, max ACOS, recent days ignored and everything is explained under that given section below with a few lines or just one line like in this case the reason for that is because you know we want to remind you that hey this is what it really means or recent days ignored this is what it really means and obviously if you want to change these go ahead change them make sure you save the changes so that after the overnight update, update or hopefully even faster in the, in the near future, your suggestions will reflect this data and this information. Sometimes users write in with questions, you know, what I pointed out earlier, I was looking at seven days of data and they are looking at it, why is it being suggested to negative match when there is no clicks, no spend? Well one thing is that you should be looking at all available data to make sure that it's clear but even then sometimes people write in and say hey it doesn't fully make sense for certain reasons or i don't understand why this didn't show up before why did it you know spend ten dollars or received 25 clicks 
and I remind them, hey, look into your settings because if this was not two max clicks without sales, as an example, but for example, it was 20, then I would need to receive 20 clicks on the given search term before it shows up. Or if this was not, you know, $10 spent on that specific search term and it was uh, 20 or 50, then it wouldn't show up until that criteria is met or at least some of the criteria from these settings. Another important part is the filter. And on this page specifically, you have the normal usual filters you are used to, but you also have current bid. And I just wanted to show that, especially when you are an agency handling many accounts, or if you're a seller and you have different type of products, um, there might be some you know expensive product you can filter for those campaigns by campaign name that are promoting advertising that expensive product where you might be fine with you know a three dollar bid and you might only be concerned looking at something above that in this case you could filter for current bid all right back to our main page and the main buttons filter for auto only in this case this was already clicked as you see it automatically selected auto campaigns only as shown in the filters section above here and you can see auto campaign auto campaign only auto campaigns when you hover over negative exact snoo or the snooze button or ignore button or the negative phrase you will see the data reminder what those buttons do and in this case i am just showing you negative exact reminding you that if you click on that button the search term which is in the first column will be negative exact matched in that uh, ad group okay and here we are still on quick negative matcher as you can see but now from the suggested negative keywords where the software is saying these soft uh, these search terms should turn into negative keywords now we are on the snoozed page of that tool and snooze once again, if you hover over that button, it will tell you, hey, we are going to snooze this for one week. Under expiration, it reminds you when that expires. I only applied this maybe half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago for this demo. So as you can see, in my case, on the 2nd of August, I see that on the 9th of August is when this snooze will expire and my this is a typo here, my not ignored keyword, but really my snoozed search term is uh, going to expire under snooze, which means the metrics, the data can show up again under suggestions. Now, this garbage bin icon here is the same as what you see here, and is the same what you saw on the earlier page. Let's see if I can get there here, right here that's all for ignoring some kind of a suggestion and when you do that the those suggestions will show up on this last sub tab under ignored so let's take a look at that and here we are we have ignored once again not really keywords or keyword it's really an ignored search term ignored suggestion um, either way, they are showing up here, reminding you which campaign, which ad group they are related to, even the match type, giving you the option to snooze, which would move them over to the snooze subtab, or what it says here under the X, unignore this suggestion. I wanted to explain this because when you use this, maybe it's not exactly precise to say unignore because it doesn't immediately show up back under suggested negative keywords what it does is more like purge purge it from this sub tab let it collect metrics new data again and when the criteria set in settings is met newly then it will show up under suggested negative keywords again 
I just wanted to cover that so there is no confusion about this. All right, let's go back to the beginning and see if there's anything else we need to cover. Maybe these main numbers up here. You see, I'm not filtering for anything. But um, if I filtered for auto only, or I clicked on this filter and I chose, you know, show me only things that are um, over 500% A cost or um, have never sold, you know, so these two conversions wouldn't be included or something like that, then the numbers on top here would basically show me the total value for everything that's left on the page. Since I didn't filter for everything, I, I literally am looking at, by the way, I'm looking at a demo account under summarizeseller.com. So in this case, I would be looking at almost 2,000% um, ACOS in a seven days period that spent almost $540, which means the software is telling me, hey, if you negative match all these, theoretically, in one in, in a seven days period, we could save you five hundred and forty dollars. Because I mean, after all that spent, you only made two conversions, probably some random things, and we don't need to worry about that. Let's just negative match, stop the waste, put that budget, put that money against something that is uh, converting better and use it to produce more profit for you. Lastly, something I almost forgot under this column, action, we have this Amazon icon here. And when you click that, basically in a new window, it will open the Amazon.com page for the search term. Or if you are on uh, the German marketplace, then it should uh, pull up the German version of uh, Amazon and show you that page with this search term. The reason why that is useful is because you might want to see, all right, I got, um, you know, 50 clicks. Actually, we had a, another shot here I wanted to show you. Like in this case, 120 clicks, one conversion, or 60 clicks, three conversions. Okay, so let's say that is 20 clicks for one sale. And I, let's, let's say that it was this search term. I might look at it and say, you know what, 20 clicks, this is such a profitable product, maybe I don't mind um, spending you know, a, a lot on that, or maybe it's this example here, where the bid is $1.57, 20 clicks is 30 bucks, but I'm still making money because it's a, such a profitable product. And um, I'm not sure, should I really negative match it or not? Click on this button here, look at the page on Amazon, and decide by looking at um, what shows up really there. When people are searching for this here, what, what type of a page, what type of results are they looking at? Do you fit there or not? Are you similar to what they are searching for or not? That can help you make a decision. And there you go, that should wrap it up. This is it for quick negative math.